right, let's get ready. <laughs> and hopefully everything works because this is screwed up a few times. Hello, Fies. Hello, Collector. Hello, Commonite. Yes, you got here. Welcome. Hello, Connor. Uh, looks like you're the first one in the YouTube chat. Yeah, if anyone's wondering why the chats are a little bit thinner than they used to be these days, they're split from YouTube and Twitch, so it goes so I'm like half and half now. But you know, it it's more exposure, so why not? Hello, Ben. Hello, Jonathan. Jonathan Johnson. We had a friend of the family for years named John Johnson. That's weird. That's weird to see. Uh, stuff shown in the newest Zen Kyger scans. I'm liking the new. I'm looking the start. Uh, Stay Caesar's mech. That looks cool. Oh, all oh, right. Still says I'm streaming Monster Hunter. Let's see if I hang on. I need to fix that. Uh, hang on. I knew I forgot something. All right. Brolin is not on the hunt today. All right, let's see if that works. So I, I, I rely on OBS too much. I can do everything in OBS. I can connect the other chat. I can connect the two streams. I can broadcast. Thank you, Toa, for the cheers. Very appreciated. Thank you very much. You feed the card hunt some more. I, it is appreciated when you do. But no, I do I do actually like I can control everything from OBS except for the stream titles, so sometimes I forget. Thank you for catching it. Alright, let's see what's going on. Hey Nick. Welcome. Mike Awesome is here. Hello. Uh D Ben, day's going well. I got my car back from the shop, the water pump, and it's fixed. Still a couple little things, but at least I know it's not gonna go, you know, explode on me. Uh, Two Kai's debut is cool. His his singing and his dancing is awkward as hell, but I'll give it a try. Uh, thoughts on the black Black Zara coming out? It's it's crazy. They're even doing it. I'm trying to catch up to the chat, so I'm trying to be quick. Sound Blasters got a Superlink Wing Saber. Very very nice find. Hope the review goes well. Hello, James, with the with the big O quote, cast in the name of God, ye not guilty. If I have to hammer punch any of these cards, I will have to remember that line. Did I see Mortal Kombat? Not yet. I want to. There's part of me that wants to see it in a theater, but I'm one week out from my, from uh, shot number two. So I don't want to... Technically, you're not fully vaccinated until two weeks after shot number two. So I don't want to risk anything before then. Uh, but I, I haven't seen Kong vs. Godzilla, and I haven't seen Mortal Kombat. I might just drop the 15 bucks just to watch them on HBO Max sometime. And I gotta do. I think I gotta do that in the next few days if I'm gonna do that. Uh, Shatterglass Megatron. I think it's cool they added so many parts to him. I was fully prepared for just another repaint. I do think it is unfortunate that there is that he's uh, so part formery. Nick with a ton. Ton of emotes. I see a Darkwing Duck in there. 
A lot of them are too small for me to make out on this screen. Hello, Suki. Welcome. Hello, Ash. Sound Blaster, I'm not crossing the streams. Technically, I'm splitting them, and I am observing them individually, if, if that makes sense. Uh, something is not on my forehead, Toa. That's the charm that's hanging off my microphone. I think we've had that explanation before. In this world, there is Poke and Mon. I mean, technically, we are monster hunting. We're pocket monster hunting. That counts. That counts. They just make that the whole theme. It's just like, I'm, I'm either playing Pokemon or Monster Hunter, so I'm just always chasing monsters. Oh, you've got the oh, you've got the Energon Optimus with the mouth plate version too. So you actually have like the really good looking uh, wing Optimus waiting for you. Awesome. Yeah, uh, Mike. I, I, yeah, that's that's why I have to do that soon. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow if I'm gonna pull the trigger on HBO Max. You know, 15 bucks just for one month just to see those two movies isn't bad. Uh, which Scyther is this? This is the original Japanese model kit. Uh, there was uh, there was a uh, there's a, like like they did a series of model kits that had like little gear and spring loaded gimmicks or little wind up gears so they could walk. This is the one they made for Scyther, and it has like a slashing action. Like you can raise the arms up and they'll click in, and then you push the wings and they'll slice down. But it doesn't work. So I don't bother with it. It's just a nice size scyther. Uh, Sound Blaster, I did hear that. That is unfortunate. But it's also not really shocking because Showa is getting to be a pretty old series at this point. Opinion on the Pokemon Adventures manga. It's, I never read enough of the Adventures manga to really form an opinion on it. I'm glad they had like all the in-game char like playable characters represented. That was always the neat part to me. To give a little bit of characterization to your avatars in the game. Any gunpla in the stores, TJ? We're um, if you mean the stores I work at, we're working on it. I'm trying to get distribution with Bluefin so we can put some gunpla in there and some figure arts. Your uncle got mad at you for ordering you soldier for your nephew. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I mean, I mean, it should be good for a kid. Classics Rodimus for Plastic Attic. Not even remotely close to bad. Not even close to being a bad toy. I reviewed Classics Rodimus in a, in a random review when I was looking for the middle. I was looking for the most average Transformer toy experience I could find. It's not great, and it's not horrible, there's nothing outstanding about it, and there's nothing offensive about it. It's just a toy. You know, Classics Rodimus is just a toy. You know, there's that's all I could really say about it. But it's it's definitely not Plastic Attic bad. I think a lot of people let their pet... When I get Plastic Attic victims, it's mostly because they let their personal pet peeves about a particular toy design or style really skew them. I kind of explained that with the Energon Ironhide cameo in uh, Titanium Megatron's review. That was a heavily requested toy, but the toy itself really isn't bad. It just has a head visible in the vehicle mode. That's it. That's all the toy really does wrong. And, you know, and I can't make an entire review based on I can see his head. Let's see. Yeah, well, if your copy has bad QC issues, eh. Okay, the chat room's but chat room is buzzing here. But I'm trying to keep up, and I might have to step away here in a minute. Uh, no, I've not watched David David K's dub of the Beast Wars comic yet. I keep forgetting it's a thing. I need to keep. I actually need to go check it. 
Have you ever watched Agents of Smash? No, I have not. The name's familiar, but I have not had the chance. RX-78, two-inch grade, kit to gun target. Yeah, target, I don't know why target all of a sudden has some gun sets. It's kind of cool, they do. Like, I remember when Gundam was on Toonami, and they thought, well, we can run some mobile suits and some, like, original retro Gundam models at toy stores. It's actually really cool to find. Uh, what do I think of Kingdom Air Razor? The... The beast mode is a little bit weird if you look at it from the underside too much cuz you can see a lot of uh you can see a lot of robot mode bits. I think the toy itself is really good. Uh it's really well articulated. It looks like Air Razor. The best part about that toy is how many hinges are in the wings. So uh hang on. Let's see. impromptu toy review this is what I need to do I need to pro I need to pioneer live toy reviewing on Twitch so if we take a look at Kingdom Air Razor here the best the best part about her are all of these lovely hinges in her wing so aside from the fact that it lets you like really take down her wing profile in robot mode you can extend the wings out You've got all of these lovely hinges where you can make the wing curve inward and outward. So you can actually get some natural curves and angles to the shape of the wing in both modes. So if you want to create, like, if you want your, like, falcon mode to actually look like a falcon and have some life to its posing, you have everything you need. So that is the best part about that toy. Lots of hinges. Uh, Piston, when you see pre-show chatting on the screen, you are definitely not late. Like, that is why it's the pre-show. You haven't missed much yet. Oh, right. Agents of Smash was the Hulk cartoon. Yeah, I definitely haven't seen that. Hulk is, like, a cool character to add into things, but I don't like Hulk standalone stuff. Because you either have Hulk get real strong, smash big things, which is not terribly interesting, or you have like the psychological drama behind Bruce Banner, Hulk, all of his multiple personalities, the root of all of those multiple personalities, and that doesn't interest me either. So you either get like really like really action movie with the Hulk or really psychological thriller with a Hulk, and both extremes are not my thing. It looks like that one toy with my face on it. No, it does not look like... Uh, well, well they're, they're, it's the same animal. Like, Animorphs Tobias was also a hawk. Uh, uh, Dragon Ranger, no. They did announce Kingdom Rhinox, but it's not a repaint of the Generations Mold. It's a completely new figure. Uh, the Generations Mold is huge for a Voyager. They wouldn't be able to sell it for Voyager prices today. Uh, that said, I do like the Generations one better. I think it looks more like the on-screen Rhinox. Um, I'm probably going to see if I can't round up the Japanese version with a show accurate colors. Where'd I get my shelves? Um, I don't know. Most of my shelves are just like Amazon or Walmart bought. There's no specialty to it. Uh, CJ, hello. Um, I personally hate Kamen Rider Saber. Uh, if you want to get back into Kamen Rider, go back and watch Zero One. Zero One was a pretty solid show, even though they had to stop a whole bunch of things and rewrite it because of COVID. Uh, but I do think it's a, it's a much more solid show with much better characters than Saber. I don't like the designs in Saber. I don't like the vibe in Saber. I don't like the characters or the shallow story in Saber. It was, it's not, a, it's not a good show. It's the first writer show I've skipped since Kiva. Kiva was my first writer show. I've watched every single episode of Common Rider since Kiva episode one. And I have, as they have come out, and I have skipped, I have skipped Saber. I, Collector K9 has pizza now. That's good. Ash, I'm not even blaming 
MCA and Universal for like Hulk not getting solo movies. It's just a lot of what they do with Hulk when he's by himself isn't as interesting as when he's in a group. Uh, Piston, I remember a bomb. Uh, oh god, what was the name? Hulk had like a kid sidekick type, and that uh, that's the guy, that's the guy who became a bomb. I can't remember his name offhand. Been a long time since I watched any watch or read Hulk. Uh, Dragon Ranger, no. Uh, to date, no one has sent me an Animorphs Tobias with the plastic attic shirt painted onto it. Uh, I I might do it and get it myself. Rick Jones, thank you, Ash. It was somewhere in my head. I just couldn't find it. Hello, Far. It's going well. You think Zero One is on Tubi TV? If it is, that'd be even better. I recommend a legal uh, avenue of watching Common Rider if you if you have it available to you. Far is playing Shantae. That's a solid. That's a solid game. I really need to play more of it. Have I seen Drawn Together? Yeah. Uh, incredibly irreverent and offensive, and uh, I laugh at way too much of it. <laughs> I, w I laugh at things that I should be ashamed of. But it's so... like The thing about it is, like, Drawn Together has a lot of offensive humor, but they are so over the top with it, it's hard... You know, like, you can't take it seriously. You know they know what they're doing. You know they're over the top and pushing it because of how offensive it is, you know. <laughs> Nick, once again here to find a hollow Victini. We've had hollow Victinis. Like, the best, like, Nick, the best I can do at this point is the rainbow, because I've gotten the other two hollow Victinis. Where are they? Jeez. I should just keep one of the hollow Victinis around just for when you're in the chat. I really should. What happened to five? I know, um... Fies, I know there are some shows that they've been doing lately where the subtitles have been horrible. Like I saw, like I saw the Hanshin on Agito, and that made my that broke my heart. How could you mess up so so simple? And I've seen so many, I've seen so many translation errors. I've seen so many like weird wordings because they didn't translate it completely. Uh, K9, yeah, Zero One's getting an official U.S. release. How crazy is that? And we're getting we're getting the double anime dubbed in America. There's gonna be uh, there's gonna be American common writer shows that are legal to obtain. Hmm. Uh, Sound Blaster, no, I have not seen uh build concept art hello Andrew life's going okay uh, did I hear news about Transformers there's a lot of news about Transformers far you gotta be more specific than that um, Bradley uh, I watched Dragon Knight I, I liked Dragon Knight better than Ryuki but I still didn't like Dragon Knight because I thought it got way too overcomplicated with the story for what it was um because the producer's problem was they had to keep all the characters alive somehow to sell the toys, so they actually like reintroduced all the writers from like mirror versions, like the good guy version of all the writers, and then they liked the Ryu they liked the 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 the, uh, the black Ryuki suit, the Ryuga suit more than Ryuki, so they had to shoehorn in how the hero got that suit instead of the classic red one, so. It was a mess. Uh, th 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 that show got really messy for me. And it got really hard to follow. Uh, but yeah, uh, for for what people were saying, um, uh, people were asking me, yes, they're doing a Kamen Rider anime. They are adapting the Futo Detectives manga that's based on Kamen Rider Double into an anime, and Funimation's already got the license. So we're probably getting a simul dub of it, which would be super cool. Hello, Oni. WFC collection is growing. Picked up crosshairs and gotta say, prefer him to Siege Ironhide mold. 
I think I like the Siege Ironhide mold. I don't mind that Crosshairs figure, but that's not Crosshairs. Like, it looks enough like him in robot mode, but a lot of the details are wrong because they're too blocky for him. And he's supposed to be a car, not a van. Like, Crosshairs in Siege seems to be, like, a box that Hasbro felt they needed to check off, you know? Like, this this character hasn't been out forever, um, okay, let's just remold it from Ironhide and we'll say, yeah, there's a Crosshairs toy. Moving on. Uh, what do you think is next for Transformers? Rumor Mill is we're going to get another Thrilling 30 style line where they're just going to do a whole bunch of random generational figures. Uh, there's been more than one leak list of what we're getting in that set. Supposedly, they're going to finish off Beast Wars there. We've seen rumors of Tarantulas. We've seen rumors of a, a pterosaur that's a really heavy air razor mold. Uh, and then uh, I think a list just got leaked somewhere of what Generation 1 characters would be in the line. Which Ryuki toy line is better, Figu Arts or Figma? Uh, Figu Arts. I've had a couple of the Figmas, and they just don't feel right. There's just something off about them. Uh, no, I've not watched Dino Xenon. I've not had the time. I haven't had the time to watch anything lately. I haven't watched the new movies that have come out. I haven't watched the new animes that have come out. I've just been keeping it myself and trying to get work done. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else I need to answer before we started. We start to open packs. Far, I don't know which have leaked because I can't remember the list. Uh, Andrew, I've, I've answered it before, but we'll say it just before we begin. Um, Shatter, uh, Shattered Glass Megatron is okay. I don't like how slapdash his vehicle mode is. It doesn't transform much, and a lot of that vehicle's coming from parts you have to part form. But it's better than I expected, because I expected just a siege repaint. And they actually made a real one. They, they actually tried, so credit to them. All right, I'm going to take down the pre-show, and we're going to get started, and we're going to open up some stuff. So we've got an interesting selection of Pokemon packs to open today. Uh, we're going to start off with Shining Fates, and when we're starting with Shining Fates, you know it's going to be an interesting day of pack opening, because we've got four Shining Fates. We've got nine Battle Styles packs, and then we have this. This is interesting. This is called Double Fighter. This is a Japanese booster set. I think a little bit of Battle Styles is in here because it's got the two Urshifus, but it also has stuff that we're not going to see until June when we get to Chilling Rain, specifically the Galarian Legendary Birds. That Moltres has an alternate art that is amazing, and it's the card I want to chase out of this. So yeah, we're going to open some Japanese packs, and we get to those... There's only five cards per pack, so I'm going to open two at a time, and I'm not going to shuffle through them to put the rare at the bottom, because I don't know where the rare is in Japanese packs. So we're just going to actually just thumb through them and see what I get. Also, if I can't remember names of Pokemon offhand when I do that, I apologize. I can't remember. It's hard for me to remember 900 Pokemon names. But... We're going to do that booster box, and then you see this, you see this box, of, you see you see this stack of lovely over here? That's Hidden Fates. I've got four Hidden Fates tins, and to finish it off, I'm going to actually go through these one tin at a time, and we're going to see which tin came out best. I got a Raichu, a Gyarados, and two Charizard, so we're actually going to see which tin does us best and hidden fates has treated me so well in the past but i've never had so many packs to open at one time so we'll see how it goes i just thought it'd be fun all right so let's actually open a few things up see the only reason i don't have more shining fates than this is because i've already got the best card in shining fates so um uh there's not a whole lot i'm chasing anymore uh hello ojunix things things are going okay you know, life is as it be. Life is going okay. Yeah, yeah, we got tins. Who 
Move my little code card off to the side. Hello, Fang. Welcome. So this was the last... So I went to a different gaming store, one I don't work for, and this was the last Pikachu box they had. So let's see if the last box was at any luck. And you'll, you'll all apologize. I did, I did manage to cut my finger today. So I apologize if you had to stare at that. But it'll give me a little bit of extra friction. Dartrix. Luxio. Starting off with some of my favorites. Gym Trainer. Yanma. Weasel. Eevee. Looking very cute. Qfant. Also looking cute. Cacnea. Reverse Hollow Trap Inch. And Manaphy. All right. Starting off with a legendary who is not a hollow. I hate that. Yeah, Fang, I, ju I just started. It's like that was my first pack opening. And we'll set those over there. And I'll check my messages because I'm trying to keep up with a million things at the same time right now. <laughs> Hello, Kamori. Welcome. You made it. We just started. Um, oh, Junix, um, I, last I checked, the treads on, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Demolisher were still intact. It has been a while. Apparently, someone reported a completely different problem I could not have actually anticipated. Apparently, ooh. That better not be the hollow because the card is a little bit roughed up there. <laughs> that better not be like a black Charizard or something. Yeah, Shining Face is a sword and shield set. Well, technically, it's a it's a point five set, so it's in between. Uh, sh so Shining Face technically isn't sword and shield. It's like Champion's Path and Hidden Fates. It do it's not attached to any one series. All right, Floatzel, Rotom, Rusted Shield, Rowlet. Horsey, Snom, Spinarak, Qfant, it's something special in the back, Hatterene, <laughs> and a fat, Dad Bod Rose. Dad Bod Rose, full art. All right. Yeah, there's a weird, ugh. Yeah, there's a weird print error on the, well, maybe not. I think that was actually just a little bit of gook that was on the card. Okay, so it's okay. All right, so full art. We got a full art. I'll give it that. You go over there, Rose. Try to lose weight. Come on. It's not hel it's not a healthy look for you, man. Well, that's what happens. You lose your championship, you lose you lose your company, you lose your plans for, you know, world domination, devastation, etc. You go on a you go on a Krispy Kreme binge. Like I'm not tr like I'm not trying to sh fat shame. Like I'm not exactly in good shape either. I have been losing weight, but I got w I got ways to go. I'm just saying, you need health. You need your health. Did I ever get an Arceus card? I don't think I've ever gotten Arceus, actually. And if I have, he's probably just like a normal rare, because I hate when they do that. I haven't gotten any, like, hollow or, like, really special ones. Thwacky! Team Yell Towel. The Ball Guy. Weasel. Eevee again. Qfant again. Eevee and Qfant right back and back to each other. Nicket. Trap Inch. And a Yon Mega. I like the artwork. I like the, I like, I like the sunset art there, but... Nothing terribly special. All right. When compared to Pickle Boy, I'm as muscular as Goku. I don't even know what that means. I can't even parse that. Favorite Mega Man X game, the original. I feel like Mega Man X1, aside from the most memorable bosses and the best music, I think it's the most balanced. Where they weren't trying to just cram in a whole bunch of stuff. I also find the weapons are the best variety and the most useful. They got some really weird weapons in the later games that I just never felt like using. You know, like the magnet bomb in X2. It's like, 
it's so slow and w awkward. I don't think I would. I don't think it would ever work. Like it, it, like it just never came in handy. Ball guy again. Cramorant. Eldegoss. Snom. Gossifleur. Morpeko. Grookey. Horsey. Yeah. Hey, we have a shiny score bunny, which I don't think it's my only one, so I have trade fodder now. <laughs> and Greedent V. So we do get an ultra rare. So I got a full art and an ultra rare out of that box. Not bad. I still need, out of Shining Fates, I still need the two Eternatus cards, the black and gold. I actually had a customer at the toy shop who came in and showed me the VMAX one, and it's such a beautiful card. Such a beautiful card. Uh, do I have it here? Or did I move it? Oh, I, I think I moved it. Um, I did get one card from him. But I'm not seeing it offhand, or I would show you. But yeah, he had he had the shiny Grim Snarl VMAX I wanted, which is like my favorite thing. Oh, oh, Junix, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't even, uh, Rudimus, does it still say Monster Hunter? I, I changed it. I told it to change. Here, let me take a quick break. Before we get into the Battle Styles packs, let me double check my dashboard and let's see if it's, uh, nope, Pokemon TCG, so if it's, it might have been a note, if it was your notification, because... I checked Twitch, and it still says... Mo no, I just checked my Twitch. It says... Like, it still says... It says... Uh... Oh, I see where it... I see what it says. I changed the title, but it changed the game. It didn't change the game. Let me change that. Yes, edit the stream info. I'm not doing Monster Hunter Rise today. There we go. All right. So before I forget again, Ojunix, um, they found a problem with Revenge of the Fallen Demolisher where the soft rubberized plastic on his treads was actually dissolving the hard ABS plastic. <laughs> it melts the other plastic it's connected to. Which I find even worse than if the rubber had split. Hello, Lord Megatron. Yeah, that was my reaction, Ojunix. It's I I don't know even how they managed to do that. Azure, that's exactly my argument. That's exactly my argument. How does it work? It's the it's the, the plasticizer that's in that rubberized plastic, what makes it like really soft and flexible, is seeping out of the tread and into the hard plastic around it, so it's softening up the, the ABS plastic it's touching. That's what's happening. It's, a, it's like it's leaching the chemical into the other plastic and softening it, so it looks melted. All right. That's your physics experiment for the week. Now we're now we're opening up battle styles packs. Yeah, the toy is basically melting. Battle styles has not been a fortunate set for me. I've not gotten anything tremendously great, but it's actually available, so I will take it. The blade, pig knight. I want the other. I want the card that's the other side. I got it on. The, I got it in the digital game. I, I've got. I've got the the Tyranitar in the digital version, not in real life. The Scroll of Swirls, Cherubi, Mindfu. God, that would hurt my crotch so bad. Still a Cobra, Galarian, Mister Mime, the Bell Sprout, Indeed as a Reverse Hollow and a Senta Scorch. That's a lot of fire in the forest, dude. You know, like Smokey the Bear warned you about that. That's just that's really not responsible. Uh, 
review G1, review G2 slingshot. I have it somewhere. Half the parts have broken off of it because it's a GPS nightmare. I want to, I need, the video I need to do at some point is I need to just make a list of like here, like, I, I want to do a here's 10 of just the 10 worst plastic addict or plastic uh, gold plastic victims. Because I know what the worst one is and it's not the one you want. It's not the, it's not the one you think it is. Jolt the golden laser rod pickup truck. How about Beast Wars 2 Randy while I'm at it? Let's review that toy. The toy you can literally crumple up in your hand. All right. Thanks for stopping in, Mike. Have a nice day. Yeah, Black Zarak. Yeah, if you if you have a mint and sealed Black Zarak, congratulations. You have Schrodinger's Transformer. It is both priceless and worthless as long as you do not open the box. Ugh. Such a waste. Pig Knight. Level Ball. More Peko. Lickitung. Electabuzz. Esper. Tinber. Galarian Slowpoke. Breaking up the rhyming scheme. Mankey. Cheryl, full art. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty. That's going to be one of those waifu cards, isn't it? This is going to be one of those that's like really valuable because of waifu tax, right? See, look, see, see. I'm not trying to fat shame him. Just like, which one would you go for? And that's not even a. That's not even a thing. It's like. Rose is, Rose just has a terrible personality. You're adding her to the waifu deck, <laughs> and I can't blame you. I don't. I like. I don't jive with the waifu thing, but you know what? To each their own. I I can see the appeal. Will I ever do non transformers on Plastic Addict? No. Like, I can't do Brave series on Plastic Addict because it's too expensive. Like, that's the thing. Most Plastic Addict toys, I've already bought. I bought them years ago. They don't mean anything, like, financially to me. And Transformers is what I'm most experienced with. Cyber V for victory. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Very appreciated. But, I like, the reason I don't do Plastic Addict for any other toy lines is because, A... I'd have to buy bad toys, which is expensive. You know, to get a toy I'm not going to like. Plastic Attic just doesn't make enough money to justify that. But also, I don't know other toy lines as well as I do Transformers. So, it's just a Transformer series, and it's always going to be. Hello, Scormac. Sup. We got a pretty waifu card. That's what's sup. Did you miss any great early pulls? We do have a full art Cheryl and a full art Rose. So I'm up to two full arts so far. Do I still have the Energon Blaster? Yes, I do. Somewhere. I think the I don't think I think the missiles don't work anymore. I think they dried up. Alright, so the scroll swirls, the cacturn, rapid strike energy, hound dower, Scatterbug, what wasteland did you drop your Scatterbug in? Poor guy, barely has a leaf to eat there. Hone Edge, Gligar, and it's a wait. So Hone Edge is just protecting a little flower. How common writer Gaim of you. Gligar, Electabuzz. Hey, you're familiar. So now we have her reverse hollow and a Vivalon. Uh, the R.I.D. Skywarp. You're supposed to review him three weeks ago, but... Teleported away from me. Is he back in Florida? Um, if you got my old R.I.D. Skywarp, he ain't here. Um, did you... I don't know, dude. You wanted to make the guy joke? You weren't fast enough. What non-transformer toys do I already own that would be plastic addict worthy? That's a hard thing to think about. Because shock of shocks, like this might surprise you. 
I don't keep bad toys. I sell off the toys I don't like, so <laughs> it's not like I have hordes and hordes of awful toys laying about. I do for Transformers because Plastic Addict is a Transformer show. If I bought like a bad Super Sentai or Power Ranger toy, I got rid of it. If I bought a bad Kamen Rider toy, I got rid of it. Simple. Hello, Ben. Oh, hopefully you're not too late for the fun. I'm not done yet. <laughs> yes, I don't pile up the hate. I find it makes my life happier. All right, rapid style mustard. I have all three versions of Cheryl now. It took me three packs to get them. Heat more. Shinx. Spoink. Gligar. Bronzor. Tepig. Embor. That's an appropriate. And a prime ape. Uh, how many packs so far? Um, we did four Shining Fates, and then let's see, one, two, three, four, five, four battle styles. So we're still pretty early in. Still a lot to go. Review Core Class Rat Trap. He's good. I good enough? I've got a lineup of toys that, like, once I actually, uh, once I've gotten everything straightened up and I've figured out my schedule... I might, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to sit down and I'm just going to review as many toys as I can in like one sitting and just like fill an entire month's worth of catching up. Two, three, four. Yeah, like, I, th I think, I think, uh, I think this round of pack opening is trying to get me to waifu Cheryl. Like, that's just, that's just the thing. I, I, and I'm not going to let it. It's not going to happen. Uh, Le Lo the Looney Tunes Lego minifigures? Probably not. I think it's cool they're doing them, especially because they've done like so many Disney ones, and now you can have your Looney Tunes cast outside of them in the same aesthetic. That's cool. No, no, uh, no probably not. I got out of the Lego minifigure thing. Just too, too, many, like too, too small and too many, too easy to clutter up a ton of them. Would I rather receive Universe 1 Downshift or become Starscream's Headmaster? If I could forcefully take over Starscream's body and fly around as a giant robot, like, like why would I not? Why would I not? See any new horror movies lately? I haven't seen any old horror movies lately. I don't like horror movies. Alright. Level Ball. Single Strike Energy. Luxio. I'm getting a lot of them. Sandalit. Bronzor. Gacnea. Spoink. Spoink still looks like he's waiting for Senpai to notice him. He's just like in that aura. Roly Coley. Mawile. I love the art on this Mawile, by the way. And Phalanx. It was not a great pull, but it is a cool card. I like Phalanx a lot. Yes, that's why I don't play Five Nights at Freddy's. And Five Nights at Freddy's isn't horror. It's startling. It doesn't do anything to, like, earn it, like... There's a little bit of creepy ambiance, but it's jump scare, and jump scare is just too cheap. It's just like booga booga booga, like that's not horror. Uh, favorite sixth ranger mecha. This is a lot to cover. I can't even think of them offhand. Like I don't want to take like dragon zord or tiger zord because it's such an obvious answer. I hated the Quantum Ranger, but I do like the Q-Rex a lot. So I guess that would be the answer. Thoughts on Ready Player One? Another thing I didn't watch. <laughs> I'm, it's, you, you really do not understand. Just like the wealth, the wealth of things I could tell you I haven't seen. <laughs> Just because I don't have the time or the interest. Never heard of anyone hating the Quantum Ranger. He was just like such a self-absorbed prick. Like, he got over it. That was his character trait. But for most of that show, it was like I couldn't stand the guy. He's just unlikable. Uh, Magnum Defender. Like Magnum Defender has some depth to him. Like I actually like him as a character. Like he's kind of a jerk too, but like he's more cooperative. 
the worst sixth? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think now. Shinken Gold got on my nerves a lot. There's just something about him that was off-putting. It's the same kind of energy that Gokai Silver had, but like I kind of identify with Gokai Silver because he was a big nerd. All right. Grumpig, with that crazy artwork, always catches me off guard. Scroll of Scorn, Brushix, Remoraid, Gibbon, Bone, Bone. I love the Cubone arts. All right. Pawniard, Houndour, Shinx, Karina's Focus, <laughs> and an Ultra Hollow, or Ultra Rare Flapple V Max. I got the rainbow of this one. So I guess I'm building up I'm building up the flapples. Alright, so Cheryl and Flapple so far. We got three packs to go. At least as far as these. Caramel Apple. Yep. I still think like Flapple's one of those Pokemon that really makes me think that there really isn't much limit to like good Pokemon ideas. Like, to make a grass dragon Pokemon inspired by the uh, the worm in the apple, that's creative. That's really creative. It's like, Flapple's one of those Pokemon I would never use or train, but I love the concept of it. All right. Durant. Not bad art on him. Purugly. Tool Jammer. Frillish. Esper. Mostly new cards in this one. Blipbug. Houndour. It seems I get that Houndour so often, but I don't get the chase. I don't get the secret rare. Silicobra. Single Strike Energy. And a Drampa. Gotten so many of those Houndours without getting Houndooms. Because everyone, okay, that's the other chase card in this, besides uh, besides the alt art Urshifus, besides the Tyranitar. A lot of people want that secret rare Houndoom. I do too. It's a cool looking card. Drampa scares you? I mean, Drampa is just like a hippie dragon. Like, there's really no reason to be scared of him. He, he looks like a dragon wearing a mop on his head. Prefer Galvatron as a time traveler or a Megatron upgrade? Why not both? Because he is technically both. I mean, I prefer him as an alternate Megatron, honestly. Hello, Mystic Mind. Not staying in long, but uh, came to see some more Pokemon cards. Well, stay for as long as you can. I appreciate the attention. Dottler. Indeedy. Crawdont. Yamper. Shouldn't be allowed to make a Pokemon that cute. It's just, like, screaming at me. Glammeow. Corfish. Scatterbug. Cubone. Reverse Hollow Vivillon. And an Aegis Lash. Yes, I heard about the Battle of the Joshes, and I made that joke, too. Yes, I've seen the Yamper Voltic toy. Big surprise! They, the big surprise, are making toys out of out of Yamper. Uh, the concept they use in the Marvel comics, I can't even remember. Um, I've answered the Shatterglass Megatron question a few times. I wish it wasn't so part for me, but it's more than I expected them to do. That's that's the simple version of that. One, two, three, uh, 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 three, four. All right. Last pack of battle styles. All right, let's see. Buffalant. That's way more intense than the buffalo needs to be. Crawdont. Grumpig. Horsey. Mankey. Galarian Slowpoke. Fomantis. Yeah. 
sticking. Remoraid, Primeape Reverse Hollow, and a Tapu Koko Ultra Rare. Another one I think I've already got, but you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna argue trade fodder. Will I bring back what's in the box? No. Um. I mean, I don't really like doing the box opening videos so much, but also it inspired way too many people to send me things for weird. In like in weird ways, or like to disassemble figures, or to wrap them in duct tape. Like I like it just got too. Uh, it got too frustrating because people started sending things in trying to one up each other. At some point, it just wasn't fun anymore. Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be like a small run of, of a Shatter Glass storyline. All right. Let's see. So I think I want to save the Hidden Fates for last because it's Hidden Fates and I've got a ton of it. So we're going to delve into Double Fighters. Now, like I said, I'm going to do two of these at a time because there's only five cards per pack. And because I don't know, I don't know what the uh, sort is. Like what, how many cards I need to like roll over in order to get uh, to the hollows. So I'm just going to open up. So I'm just going to take out cards and uh, fan through them. So I need to go this way. See, now, the Japanese Pokemon game actually changed the card backing. I just realized this. Because I just... I just noticed it myself. So, here's what they originally look like. So, that's a classic one. And you'll notice, just like on the American cards, the Pokeball button is on the wrong side. It's on the bottom. You know, that was an error that the cards still continue to do. They changed it in Japan so that the button is on the top. In America, they decided, we don't want you to be able to tell the old cards from the new cards, so we're going to keep it the way it is. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll tell you, like, I'll show you this. Like, the whole reason I have that at the ready, if you didn't see it on Twitter, I found my old Scyther cards. Check that out. Look, as a Japanese Scyther that was only sold out of a vending machine in Japan. Like, they had, like, vending machines for cards back then. So, I put one of my newer Scythers in there. There's the original Japanese Scyther card. It's roughed up, but it is mine. We have both the Japanese Rocket Scyther and the American Rocket Scyther and the classic jungle one. Now, check this out. That was all, that was most of the old Scyther cards I had as a kid. Like, I, that's the only cards I ever kept from my original collection were my Scythers. And that includes this beauty. First edition jungle hollow. I lost my mind when I got that as a kid. Absolutely lost my mind. So, I've got display stands coming. This is going in my little Scyther shrine. And it is going to be proudly displayed. Still not in bad condition. There's a few rough edges where you can see the hollow foil layer through. But considering it's so old, it's actually pretty nice shape altogether. Chris, yes. Scyther is absolutely my favorite Pokemon. Always has been. How do I organize the cards in my collection if I do? I do have a binder that I've been meaning to fill out. Unfortunately, the way the cards are numbered these days, there's no easy way to do it. Um, there's no easy way to like sort out the cards and keep the hollows separate, like because it's it, it incorporates in uh, it incorporates in like the secret rares and like the ultra rare stuff, the stuff that I'd want to keep separately in like the middle of the numbering. So there's no even way of doing it. And then like amazing rares and vivid voltage and whatnot, those ended up like 
in the middle of the numberings of like common cards. So like they're those are valuable cards. I don't want to keep them in a binder. Uh, any love for? S oh, okay, Chris, I will show you. I'm not a big Scizor fan because I think it messes up Scyther's attack strategy, going from speed to defense based. And I don't like the design. I don't like that he turned red for no reason. But I do have the original Scizor promo card. And from the old Neo sets, I do have the original Scizor Hollow. So there you go. Alright, so I was opening actual Pokemon cards, right? <laughs> like, I was opening Japanese packs. Alright, hello Strazwa. So like I said, I don't know where the rainbow, I don't know where the hollow card is in the Japanese pack. So I'm just going to flip them over and we're just going to see what we got. And we got a Hatrin to start off with. And again, I apologize if I don't name off the names because it's hard for me to remember all the names. Here we go. We got a Rock and Rolla. We got a Sub Viper. That's a cool looking Sub Viper. It looks like he's about to take an attack from Vegeta. All right, oh, Spiritomb. A guy. <laughs> See? Aw. So cute. See, it, it, you can tell it is, uh, you can tell it is uh, similar to Battle Styles because it's showing the Pokemon training. You can see the weight bag up. You see the punching bag he's up there uh, running toward. Carvana. Petalil. <laughs> that is an intense Doug Trio. It's Doug Trio and the ghost of his ancestors attacking at the same time. All right, and a trainer card. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that is. All right, see, common, 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 uncommon, uncommon, common, 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 uncommon, uncommon. Okay, so it looks like, it looks like like the rares are like shuffled farther to the back, so I can just open these and flip through and it's basically what it's basically fine I think the Doug trios were spinning individually oh hang on um Skyfire I've talked about Saber before I've talked about Saber a lot I don't like Saber I don't like the designs I don't like the characters I think the story's boring and shallow I hate the toy designs I think the books are so stupid yeah if I miss something I do apologize I'm not skipping anybody intentionally I'm just trying to like follow I'm trying to follow two different chat rooms and pay attention to what I'm doing at the same time so a lot does get lost All right. All right. Thanks for stopping in, Ojunix. Still better than Ghost. Debatable. Debatable. All right. Oh, ooh, we have something special in the back. All right. Oh, Heracross. Heracross about to go Super Saiyan God. Aw. The artwork's so cute on these. Okay, okay. Super intense Beedrill. There's the Doug Trio again. I love the cherry blossoms in that shot. I love that I love that little bit of artwork. There's Hatrin again. Oh mm, so close. So close. Ultra rare Galarian Moltres, but it's not the alternate art. If it was the alternate art, I would be so stoked right now. But that's still really cool. And then another Spirit Tomb behind it. It's still a really cool card. Yeah, it's hollow. It's an ultra rare. It's like... When they do cards like this, like the hollow effect isn't as pronounced. 
but you can tell the car definitely has some holographic effects and some shininess to it. What have they done to Moltres? They made him a dark type. Like the Galarian Moltres is just like, like the super ominous bird. More adult common writer season coexisting with the kids shows like Amazon Widow Ghost next day. Not, not especially. I think Amazon's. I liked. I liked Amazon's, but it might have gone a little bit too far. Um, I don't know. I prefer my common writer to feel like a good anime where it's a mix of action, a little bit of comedy, and actually like getting serious, you know, and taking itself seriously. You know, trying to trying to deliver a good story. Whereas I don't feel like they're trying to make a good story in uh I don't feel like they're trying to make a good story in uh in Saber. I feel like they're just selling toy books. Alright. See you later, Rick. See you later, Nick. Thanks for stopping in. Favorite Cybertron Ultra toy? Probably Scourge. Because I just love my dragons like that. I mean, I liked Amazon Season 2 well enough. It's not as good as Season 1. But they went for, they, you know, season one went for kind of a J-horror vibe. They tried to put a love story into season two. I don't fault them for trying something different. Just it doesn't hit as well sometimes. All right. We got a tentacle. There's little, the little lanterns or, or punching bags or something hanging in the back. Cool artwork, though. All right. We got another one. Sweet. Okay, a Swirlix. Oh, her. I can't remember her name. Oh, I hated her, though. <laughs> a lantern. Turn. Oh! Oh, I've got a friend who would want this. I've got a friend who would want this. He loves... Oh. Clara, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, but he loves Delibird. Absolutely loves Delibird. All right. Not bad. Okay, so that's a standard ho that's how standard hollow looks in Japan. The border is holographic too, which I think is actually a neat touch. I've never been a fan of the Jin Pokémon. Like I don't know. They just don't look like Pokémon to me. They just look weird and off-putting. What is that Kakuna doing? That cocoon that Kakuna is about to wipe out Neo Tokyo. He looks like he, he looks radioactive. He look he looks like he's about he looks like he's about to have an atomic explosion go off. All right, so we got another hollow out of that. At least Japan knows that uh, that you make the legendaries holographic. Yeah, uh, yeah. The alternate forms for the Gen Pokemon are a lot better, but like, that's a standard Thunderous, and like, I, I, he just looks like he looks like he looks like your old neighbor telling you to get off your lawn, except with lightning bolts. Suki, yeah, El Nej. Good old Garrett. I need to. I, we were work. I was talking about doing something with him, and I need to. I need to like get back to him on that one. You love the genies. Yeah. Uh, how many? How many more packs do I have? It's kind of hard to keep count. I've got sixteen packs of Hidden Fates we haven't even touched yet. But for these, I'm not sure. I didn't really keep track of these. It's also hard because I'm doing two at a time, so I'm counting them up a little bit differently. All right, another rock and roller, another Delibird, Lantern again. There's your other DLC trainer. I didn't have I didn't have him, so I, I can't, don't remember him at all. That's cool. That's a super. I love the look of that card. Mm-hmm. 
Venipede. Alright. Ooh. Very cool shaman. Also, again, holographic in an interesting way. Yep. People like Delabird. Uh, Sideswipe if... Yes, this is not Monster Hunter. Uh, no, that's... No, no, that's the alternate form for Shaman. Like, the cool form. Like, normal Shaman just looks like a, like a little hedgehog who literally looks like a hedge. Yeah, we're doing Japanese cards, Sideswipe. Because it's so hard to get American cards, it's actually easier to get Japanese cards these days. Also... These are cards that haven't come out in America yet, so I was super curious about them. Also, I'm impatient, and I really want that Moltres. Oh, he's normal typing on his card, yeah. You want to bid on Legend Slipstream for a fairly decent price? Very nice. Uh, if it's the one I'm thinking of, be careful with her, because her head is on a translucent ball joint. I try so hard to warn people about these things. Uh, Skyfire, that's a fair opinion. Like, you, it, you know, everyone's taste in shows is different. I really liked Zero One, but, you know, that's me. I like the suit designs a lot. I like the characters. I think what they did was considering the limitations that got slapped down on them halfway through the series, I think what they pulled off was really, really cool. The movie is now subbed. And I think the movie is like a really good Common Rider movie. All right. Chimcha. No, oh, I'm, I'm screwing up. It's not Chimcho. Jeez. I'm not going to try and name them off because my brain is just not really working. That's a cool past Simeon. Like, like taking care of a little Sobble, that's actually kind of cute and endearing. That might be the one time I've ever liked a past Simeon. Braviary. Here's one of my least liked Pokemon. Got another trainer. Another Heracross. Ooh, there's something shiny back there. Pull your pants up, dude. Scraggy. <laughs> Oh, God. Sobble. Sobble crying while doing, like, the waterfall training. That's so... Like, this is, like... this. Is, I, kind, I said it in a past stream. I kind of regret taking Sobble as my first Pokemon. Because I wanted to train other water types. And I actually ended up liking, like, Scorbunny and his evolutionary line a lot more. But he's but Sobble is so freaking endearing. The way they portray him. Like he's this he's a shy crybaby, but he tries so hard. It's super like I root for Sobble. Alright, what's my hollow? <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it, because even when I'm even when I can speak, even when I can read the text, I can't pronounce the name of this Pokemon to save my life. It's Cophagirus' alternate evolution. And then, yeah, there's another Venipede. I mean, we're hollow rich in this. Like, they must be more, a little bit more generous with the hollows in Japan. I still don't have my full art Moltres, but we got, like, more than half of this box to go. Runa Regis. I'll go with that. I will go with that. Favorite lightsaber design. Oof. This is really bad of me. This is really bad of me, but I actually really like Ray's lightsaber. <laughs> It's mostly because, like, I have memories from a kid when I was doing the Star Wars tabletop RPG with friends, and like, my Jedi had a yellow lightsaber, so I'm on, I'm, I'm in like that kind of groove with that, and I kind of like that it's like crafted from her staff that she was identified with. I think that was a cool touch. Um, if we're really talking, 
last year when I was supposed to go to Galaxy's Edge and I was going to do it all. I was going to build my own droid. I was going to buy the Kyber crystals. I was going to do the, the, like the build your lightsaber ceremony thing. I was going to do all that. And the lightsaber I had my heart on was the ancient lightsaber design, you know, where it looks a little bit cruder and a little bit more natural looking. It's a really cool look. And I wanted to pair it with a yellow blade. That's what I want. I still want to do that when, when everything's like back to normal. I, you know, I still want to do that. Here's the lights. Here's my question with lightsabers. Why is it always one blade? Like Darth Maul had it going both ways. And then you had like the hilt on uh, Kylo Ren's. But like, why have I never seen like a lightsaber claw or like a double bladed lightsaber, like with both going the same direction? Why have I never seen that? Palpatine's lightsaber or Vortimal's wand. I don't know, lightsaber, like, lightsabers are just cooler than magic wands. I'm sorry. Magic wands might be able to do more, but you're not going to be cooler than a lightsaber. You're just not. All right. There's that past Simeon again. Ooh, we got something back there. Looks like an ultra rare. Oh, oh, this is adorable. So we've got, on the in the background, we've got a hair across on the ground. Looks like he's doing sit-ups and training. And training along with him, we've got a Weedle doing pull-ups with its tail. I love that. I love that artwork. See, like, I like... Uh, this is why I focus so much on the art, because it's... Like, things like this are really endearing. Like, I root for this Weedle who's trying so hard. Alright, what's my Ultra? <laughs> Okay, all right. It's a is a V Max. I can't rem. I I'm forgetting if this was an alternate slow bro or an alternate slow king. I can I couldn't remember. I can't remember that offhand. But he's he's coming off like a psych like a psychotic sorcerer in this art. I'm kind of into it. Slow Galarian slow king. Thank you. All right, trainer card. Diglett. Look how fierce the Diglets are running. Just burrowing through the ground. Oh, that's cool artwork. It's water bending, is what it is. Yeah, Slowbro has the Mega Man weapon. Yeah, that's yeah, the glare the glaring Slowbro has the arm cannon. Thank you. Here's the pedalil again. Alright, and I'm getting that armor a lot. All right, so Slow King. Slow King go there. I don't even know what to do with the Japanese cards once I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah, Diglett's run. Like, Ben, like, uh, Doug Trio is actually a really fast Pokemon. That's, like, you wouldn't think of it because it's a mole, but they made him really fast. Have I ever heard of Cell Dweller? No, I have not. <laughs> Here's Diglett Dig in a threatening tone. <laughs> Diglett Dig. Diglett Dig. Which animal is a better digger? Continental giant rabbit or star nosed mole? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we even get to that. I mean, if your rabbit is a is the size of a continent, I'm sure it'd take very little effort for it to dig. There, there they are again, the threatening diglets. Okay, a uh, little pup running through. Horn. Hey, surfetched. I love Surfetch. Surfetch was in my champion team. Another. That, that's the weird thing about opening multiple packs is getting duplicates like that. Oh, you. Oh, you. 
This one I'd also forget the name of because I didn't bother with the fossils outside of my... Outside of my just filling out the Pokedex. Look at the pain he is in. Look, Dracozolt looks like he's in agony at all times. I am I feel so bad for Dracozolt. <laughs> I'm still hoping in some future game like you can have like the proper versions of all of the all four of those fossil Pokemon. They deserve something. Now, the thing is, it's based on actual European fossil history. That's the idea. Like, if you don't know the history, like... In Europe, they just threw fossils together and called them dinosaurs. They didn't have any kind of... Like, before there was any kind of, like, scientific check method of, like confirming which bones went with which creatures they were just in they were just concerned about creating monsters for museums to pull in people to to watch so yeah they just mishmash things together with no scientific rhyme or reason all right next up i think i've got another ultra rare yes i do here's there's weedle again can't We've got two of them. There's an ultra rare Zapdos. It is still not the alt art. I want at least one alt art. If I don't, out of this entire box, I want at least one alt art of uh, the Galarian birds. I would prefer Moltres, but I would be happy with any of them. Because they are such cool art designs. Alright, who else we got here? That's oh, another Surfetched. No, 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 it's a far-fetched. Sorry. <laughs> he's, he, he's a very, he looks very downtrodden. He's, cards we've already gotten. Ooh. See, he's grown out of the waterfall phase, and now he's like, seri he's serious on his training. Plant card. Oh, there's the big tree. Oh, I still remember the Greedent falling out of that tree. The giant Greedent. That was, that's still funny. Galarian Farfetch, always angry. You wish normal Farfetch also got an evolution? Well, in a way it makes sense to me because Farfetch in, Gal the Galarian Farfetch isn't nearly as rare as Kanto Farfetch. Like Kanto Farfetch is like, like, the idea is that in in Kanto, Farfetch'd is rare because it's from the Galarian region. And the ones that migrated over aren't as strong or and definitely aren't as plentiful. So they're super rare. And outside of their natural environment, they can't grow well enough. Well, in the Galarian region, Farfetch'd can grow because it's their native, it's their native habitat. Alright, next up. Favorite Universe 1 repaint, Depth Charge. The only reason I didn't keep that toy is because it's so huge that storing it or displaying it is incredibly difficult. But the paint job they accomplished at mass retail level on that figure is absolutely amazing looking. Now, Universe had some really cool looking repaints you know uh universe sky warp was cool and all that but yeah that that there, there's just like a next level of just interesting design on uh, depth charge all right heracross is back so is farfetch and carvana yep Alex up uh, Getting the same cards here. Relix. Oh. Well, there's one of the Urshifus. It's not one of the ones that it's in... Uh, it's not one of the ones in... Uh, ah, Battle Styles. Different artwork. Interesting. Interesting. 
More hollows. I'm surprised at how many hollows I get out of this. And how, how many scraggies I'm getting out of this. Yeah, uh, yeah, Strazwa, like, dude, like, I, I have to rep my boy, so of course I'm going to be a grass type. Like, I meant to change it. I meant to change the HP to match Scyther's original HP, which is 70, but 70 is so weak now. <laughs> Yes, Scyther's a bug type, but that's not in the TCG. Eh, grass close enough to being a bug. Who cares if... You know, who cares about type differences in that one? Alright. Cub foo again. Bunch of cub foos. Tentacool again. Ooh. Oh, it looks like you're in Hawaii, doesn't it? Oh, that's so pretty. Sharpedo. Oh, there you are. I'm staring at that butt a lot. There's another one. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm getting a lot of... Dracozold VMAX. Sure. Okay, okay. So I guess I'm just going to look at Dragazolt Suffer. Um, that's not the alternate art. Um, here, I'll show you. So the one on the left is Dragazolt V. Uh, v Pokemon are basically uh, like the giant Pokemon in S.H.I.E.L.D. Kind, well, kind of. Well, let's say, okay, V Pokemon are basically just really really powerful, basic level Pokemon. You can have, like, a Cinderace that's a Poke that is a V. So in the game, it's considered a basic. So I could play, uh, do I have a better example here? Okay. I don't really. <laughs> I don't really have a better example of this, unfortunately. Um... Oh, well, yeah. So, like, there's a Cinderace VMAX. Now, it's evolved from a V Pokemon, which is a basic Pokemon. I can play it without playing a Score Bunny and all the other evolutions. But if I if I lose that card, they get more uh they get more prize cards for knocking out a powerful Pokemon. V Maxes is the evolution of a V card. So so, Dragazolt V evolves into Dragazolt V Max. So, you see the stats go up, the attacks get a lot stronger, and instead of two cards when it's knocked out, my opponent would take three cards. That's how that works. And my leg's falling asleep. <laughs> The better Dynabot combiner, the Beast or Volcanicus, neither. I think they're, they're both kind of awful in their own ways. I think if I have to take between the two, I would take Volcanicus. Um, Sound Blaster, I don't want to imagine that because I want to sleep tonight. Um, Sideswipe, kind of. V's work a little bit the same as EX's. V's are just capable of evolving. Whereas I think EX's were just on their own. Alright. Doesn't look like anything special in here. Alright. Hatrin. Alright. Um, yeah, we're getting a lot of same cards here. I mean, the Japanese cards are fun. Oh! Okay. Scratch that. So I have the entire evolutionary line for Sobble now. And he's trick shotting. He's trick shotting like a streamer in Fortnite. Inteleon showing off. 
There's a ton of hollows in this. I'm getting a hollow like every other pack out of this. Which I guess when it's only five cards per pack. I guess when it's only five cards per pack, that would be like the ratio you would expect. So I guess I shouldn't be terribly surprised. All right. I'm starting to run low. I'm starting to see the bottom of the box. So I don't have too many of these to go. And we still don't have like an alt art bird. Now, the Japanese booster boxes aren't all that expensive, to be honest. I could do this again. The reason I did it this time was I tried to return something to Amazon. They said, no, you don't need to send it back. We'll just give you credit. So I got like 15 bucks off this box. So I figured, yeah, why not? Could be fun. Oh, there's something. There's Petalil. Oh, there's something weird in here. Scraggy. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I got the alt art for Slow King. That is so ugly. <laughs> that might be the ugliest card I've ever seen in my life. Is that going to be my big pull? Is that going to be my big alt art card? Is going to be I didn't get any of the birds, but I got a I got the Slow King. Nicholas, yes, I have. Why would you invoke that name in my chat room? Good lord, man. Also, good lord, this card. All right, what else we got? There's Passimine again. And there's Carvana. All right. Oh, Tentacruel. Okay, so let's get this. So many hollows. And that's such a weird one. All right, how many of these do I have left? Okay, I've got enough. I got six more packs, so I can do this three more times. Pokemon Vs are like level X cards of yesteryears. Yeah, they're just stronger cards. Stronger cards with different mechanics. High risk, high reward type thing. Uh, Skyfire, I know. I have to know a little bit about, about magic just for my job, but you are right. I'm not into magic myself. I'm not really, uh, I'm not in the know. So, like, you could tell me, you could tell me you got Barney the Dinosaur as a Magic the Gathering card, and I would believe you. All right. Let's see what we got now. Got another Lillipup. Ooh. That's a really nice Hatterene Hollow. There's that. That might be my favorite art, just for how over the top and ridiculous it is for a Kakuna. And like seeing Weedle and Beedrill's art in this makes me like it more, just because it's like it's thematic. So Viper again. A lantern. Ooh, I've got the whole evolutionary line now. Why is the quality on YouTube better than Twitch? Because probably because Twitch limits the output. Like like there there's a there's a there's a stream there's a data limit on uh on Twitch. Okay. Two to go. The, the only down like the down well I guess I was gonna say like we get like the my usual game to end off the stream is not gonna work with with opening up the hidden fates tins, but we'll see if it'll work. We'll see if I can do it. Hardening intensifies. That might be against Twitch TOS. All right. Oh, Skyfire, I know they've done crossovers. I know there's... I know Grimlock has Magic the Gathering cards. I know My Little Pony characters have Magic the Gathering cards. I've... Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Hmm. <laughs> Those Diglets. I love... I love the character in some of these art cards. Ooh, there's something. It's an ultra rare. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. 
That is really cool. Blaziken is an awesome Pokemon. I really like that. And then, yeah, like, super, like, he looks, he's, like, delivering, like, the most fiery rider kick I've ever seen. All right, another ultra, another ultra rare. Jeez. Yeah, we'll notice that the way these packs are distributed, I have not had, like, two ultra rares in, in, like, at one time. Like, you would think opening two packs at a time, I would get two ultra rares at some point, but I haven't seen it. All right, last two packs. Fingers crossed, I still want one of these freaking birds. Or at the very least, can I get the Articuno ultra rare just so I can have the trio in it? Because that's going to that's gonna give me, like, some crazy uh, OCD. Why is the Venipede in the in dark? They do some weird things with poison type Pokemon. Sometimes poison types are, sometimes the poison types are uh, psychic. Sometimes they're dark type. They used to be grass type, so they never really knew what to do with poison types in this game. All right, Braviary, Sob Sobble. We got Farfetched again. The tree. Kakuna. One last look at the Kakuna. Hatterin. Well, I got something shiny. There's a lantern. Ah. It's a repeat. It's a repeat from my last hollow. That's underwhelming. That's underwhelming. Ah, well. There's some fun cards in this set. Like, there's some art I really, really like in this just to have the art. So, I think most of that is going to be chilling rain in June. So, the I'm expecting that big Moltres to be, like, the card to chase in that whole set. So, yeah, I guess my big pull is going to be that Slowking. Because I know there are people who chase that Slowking. I don't know, like, a rarity or, like, how big of a card that is. But, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know it's a chase card, so I guess that's going to be my pull out of that box. God, it's so many hollows. When I like when I when I run down like the hollows in this stream, it's just going to be a, just this ridiculous amount of the Japanese ones. All right. The moment I've been waiting for. Now we get into hidden fates. Okay, so I wanted. I think I want to do the Charizard tins last, because here's the thing. For whatever reason, well, we know the reason. Charizard tins go for more money than others. Charizard, if Charizard is on the packet pack art for just like a booster pack, it goes for more than the other packs, just because Charizard is on it. That is how pe much people are fixated on the Charizard. So what I want to do here with these is keep them together so we can see that Charizard tins are not necessarily more lucky than the other tins. So we're going to start with the Gyarados tin. I'm going to get the promo out for it. Well, I don't want to waste time doing that. Let's just get the packs out. And I'll worry about the rest of it later. All right, so, okay, very nice, one of each. Like, you knew Hidden Fates was going to be popular when this was your package art. The Legendary Birds, Black Charizard, Shiny Mewtwo, and a Mew. That's just a, like, the pack art alone tells you this is a powerful set. Yeah, the Charizard tin being more expensive is stupid, is stupid. I completely agree with you. You know what? I do know people, like, there's a lot of people who, uh, they just collect sealed product these days. Like, they'll take, they'll buy a Charizard tin, they won't even take the wrapper off. Either because they're trying to let it, uh, either because they're trying to let it grow in value, or because they just like to have sealed product. 
You know, if that's their thing, I can't fault them. And they just and those are the ones who really prefer to have a Charizard. All right. I think it's four to the bottom on Hidden Fates. Yes, it is. All right. Let's see. First Hidden Fates pack. <laughs> well, uh, you know how to get to my heart. I will say that. There's nothing rare or special about this Scyther, but any Scyther. Sabrina's suggestion. Pokemon Center Lady. Ekans. Psyduck. Staryu. About to go nuclear. Clefairy. Slowpoke. Looking like he's running across the water. How? Hollow. Grass type energy. I love the hollow energies. And I love this design for energy cards too. Eevee! It's a hollow Eevee card. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Alright, awesome, awesome. Super cute Eevee. So I wanna set I wanna set my hollow energies aside. I swear someday I'm actually going to make a a, a deck of physical cards. I'm going to make an actual deck of cards and I'm actually going to I you know, I want I want enough of those I want enough of those hollow energies to just like pimp out my energies. Favorite evolutions. I always liked Flareon. Flareon was always the one I went to first. And then Glaceon came along. And Glaceon's beautiful. So, kind of a tie on those two. Alright. Graveler. I'm so happy I can read the names again. Farfetched. <laughs> un un a little unhealthy. Unhealthily close to his leak there. Brock's Grit. Another Eevee. Normal this time. Ekans. Paris. Caterpie. Charmander, Reverse Hollow Koga's Trap, and a Lapras. <laughs> Playing with a beach ball. Cute enough. Uh, five so far, we got, um, yeah, 253, you are kind of late, unfortunately, but hello, welcome. Uh, Fies, we did get a Hollow Eevee. Like, it's like an alternate art Eevee card. I wasn't even aware there was a Hollow Eevee in this. I'm just noticing how many Pokemon are around him. All right, so I'm keeping track of the rares that come out of each tin. So far, the Gyarados tin has given us that Hollow Eevee, which is kind of unique, and then a Lapras, which is not so unique. So let's see what the next let's see what the next pack brings. This is the Charizard pack, so you know a Charizard is going to be inside. When kids come into the toy store, I actually have to explain. It's like, no, no, no. The the just because Charizard's on the wrapper doesn't mean you're going to get a Charizard. I'm sorry. That's not how that works. Because they put Charizard on every wrapper of every set he's in. Because of course they do. All right, try this out. Kogus wrap. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Misty's determination. This is just the stuff the gym leaders do. Cubone. Oh, my favorite Cubone art. I forgot that was in Hidden Fates. Jigglypuff. So cute. Eevee. Caterpie. Paris. Ooh. Shiny Charmeleon. One evolutionary step away from the good. One evolutionary step away from the good one. And then a standard electrode. All right. So that's what we gotten so far out of tin number one. I gotta say, I think I think Gyarados is gonna have to have like a really strong finish here on this next pack, or he might not. He might be a little bit of a weak contender. All right. Now the bird pack.
Charizard is a, a little bit overhyped, but, you know, it was how you got a Dragon Pokemon easy in the original games, because Dragonite was so hard to get, and Charizard was the cooler-looking dragon, even if he wasn't a dragon type. Also, like, there's... There's some there's something special about Charizard because he's the most rewarding. The way I always explained it to people was in the original Pokemon game, your first two gyms basically determined how difficult the game was. So if you picked Bulbasaur, a grass type, your first gyms are rock type and water type. Bulbasaur is going to make sure you have a real easy time against those first two gyms. So he's easy difficulty. Squirtle, easy time against Brock, but not so good against Misty because it can tank, but it can't do any major damage. So it's about a medium. That's your normal difficulty. Charmander, rock type and water type, no. If you started with Charmander, you are taking the difficult route. You are going hard mode. Now, after the first two gyms, it doesn't matter. After that, you can catch all the Pokemon you need. Lieutenant Surge is right next to the Diglett Cave, so at that point, type doesn't matter. You can type advantage everything after that. But starting off the game, Charmander was the difficult path, so it's more rewarding when you get that Charizard. So that's where I kind of get a little bit of the Charizard love, right? Aside from just being a cool Pokemon and like really hyped in the anime, there is something more rewarding than the other two. All right, yeah, a, a neat arena or neat arena for Brock is okay. Like the Nidorans are okay, but still they're doing mostly physical damage, so you're still just counting on like if you can poison them, yeah. But after that, yeah, you're out of luck. Cool Magmar, Jinx, the non-offensive version, Ekans, Ekans with like Articuno making a cameo in the background, and like Ekans is just can't believe it. Cubone again, Magikarp, Geodude with the most like basic. There's something kind of charming about this Geodude card because it's using stock art with a basic background, which is what a lot of the originals did. Oh, right, Nidorans have double kick. Yeah, yeah, that's how you beat Brock. Yeah, that's good. I forgot about that. All right, what else do we have? We have a Clefairy. Silvali. Shiny full art. I panicked a little bit when I saw the when I saw the full art back the uh, background with a little bit of black on there. I like had a, like a like a momentary panic, but that's nice. And then Erica's hospitality as the rare. All right, so I did say that the Gyarados tin needed to have a strong finish, and it did. What Pokemon English chant lives rent free in your head? Diggle it, dig, diggle it, dig, trio, trio, trio. How can it not? That that was hypnotic. I've also just realized, like, I've got my top loaders and my sleeves ready. I haven't done that to anything. I should have I should have sleeved Cheryl. And I just completely forgot to do it. Alright. Right, you. I got three Mew packs in that one. Should they update the Poker Wrap so what? It goes on for what a year? You think of how long the original Poker Wrap actually is, and then realize that if they did it again, it would have to be like, like eight times longer. Not, no, well, not quite eight. So, I'm actually doing the math. Six times longer. Let's say six times longer. All right. So Gyarados presented us one shiny. And then one full art shiny. So let's see what the Raichu tin does. No, Skyfire, it wouldn't be ten minutes long. It would be like it'd be like thirty minutes long. 
It would be ridiculous. A poker app for each generation. They did a poker app for Gen 2. It wasn't that good. I think at some point, you're just going to struggle too much to come up with the rhymes. There's just not going to be enough Pokemon to actually keep the rhyme scheme going. Even, even the original poker app had to cheat a few times. I think they'd have to do a lot more cheating to get some of the other gens to work. You'll get at least one shiny for each tin. I mean, that that seems like the distribution. My la like the last tin I opened up had like the rainbow legendary bird card, which I thought was like super cool. So like I I'd be happy with something like that, or the full art of that would be even better. All right, Lieutenant Surge Strategy, Misty's Determination, Jinx, Charmander, Club Fairy. Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Holographic Energy, and a full art pincer of all things. That's an interesting one to do. So yeah, see, pincer still gets full arts. He still gets, you know, fancy cards because he doesn't have an evolution. He has a mega, but not an evolution. Like my boy Scyther, just, no, nah, who cares? You've got Scizor. Live with it. Alright. Snip, 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 snip. Whoop. I, even, I didn't even think I have heard a Gen 3 poker rap. I heard Gen 2, and Gen 2 is not good. It's like a... Like, Gen 2 is just like a groove kind of song. It's not good. It's not nearly as catchy as the original poker rap. And I never heard the Gen 3. Now... The guy I mentioned earlier, El Nej, I think, I think I remember him doing a poker rap for another gen. I can't remember which one he did. Pinsir and Scyther are not tight, Chris. They, those were like the original rival Pokemon. All right, Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina's suggestion. My boy again, coughing, Clefairy, Star You, ooh. Some full art back there. Jigglypuff. Ekans. It's not in the shiny spot, though. Ooh. Reverse Hollow Pikachu. That's actually an interesting card. I mean, it's, su it's a beautiful piece of artwork. I'm actually going to set that one aside, because that is actually really cool. All right. What is this thing in the back? <laughs> Well, that's just about perfect, isn't it? The Raichu tin gave me a Raichu. And if we look, it is actually a different Raichu than the promo that came with it. Okay, so that's funny. That is actually funny. All right. So the Raichu one so far is making a strong case. I don't have a shiny out of it yet. And I don't have a full art out of it yet, but two ultra rare. Uh, how do I get the big cards? Those come in gift boxes, like champions, like like, these are all out of Champion's Path. So, like, here's the Dubwool. So, Champion's Path had gift boxes for Dubwool and uh, Hatterene. Now, for Battle Styles, it's the two Urshifus. They just have jumbo-sized promo cards. It's kind of like a goofy little add-in thing. But I think it makes a really nice background when I'm opening up packs. So, I use them for that. Okay. Next, Jinx again, Magmar, Farfetch'd, Normal Pikachu. They really went all out on that card. Look at the a different Ekans. It's a it's a different art for Ekans, and look how peaceful it is. Like it's like in such stark contrast. The other one is just freaking out because it's just basically hoping Articuno goes by without freezing it to death, and this one is just like living life. Like, I wish I had this Ekans life. Just 
crawl through the grass and look at the rainbow. So peaceful. And coughing is just polluting the city, <laughs> by complete contrast. Paris, Cubone again. Reverse hollow scyther. I will happily take that. Okay, now now the right you the right you tin wins, right? <laughs> the right you tin just wins by default. And a mew. Okay. So it's not the it's not the shiny scyther. Hidden Fates has a shiny scyther card that I do want. But I do like having that under... I do like having the reverse hollow. Mew is under the truck. I made that joke. It's always so weird. Like, I miss the days. I miss the days of, like, playground rumors. Where it's like, oh, well, in the Mortal... Like, there's a code in Mortal Kombat that makes all the characters naked. And you could do like nudalities, cause you know we were we were ten and just hitting puberty, so of course that's what we that's what we thought. But yeah, like Mew under the truck, hold down the B button, and the Pokemon will stay in the ball, all that kind of stuff. Weird. Surge of strategy. Chancy. I like the artwork on that. Look at the little. It's it's like a watering it's like a squirtle watering can. All right, interesting. Cerulean City Gym, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie. Oops, something in the back. Eevee. Reverse Hollow Mr. Mime. Look at how shiny that is. And an ultra rare Starmie. A bunch of ultra rares, no full art, no shiny in that in that tin. Three ultra rares out of four packs, but no shiny and no no full art. So, right now I'm saying I, I, right now I think the uh, I th I think the Raichu tin is slightly better. If only because the reverse hollows were more interesting and it's more consistent, but there was no huge card in there. Charizard. All right. All right. So one of these was gifted to me, and I can't remember which one it is now. And the other one I had to buy. But I do want to, but, so I, I wish I had kept track of the gifted one, because, like, how cool would that be if, like, I got the Charizard out of the one that was just handed to me? All right. First pack out of the Charizard tin. You saw the New Mortal Kombat and prefer the 90s one. See, I've seen a lot of people who love the New Mortal Kombat and a lot of people who say that, where, oh, well, it's not, no, the 90s one is so much better. And I really like the 90s Mortal Kombat movie. You know, I thought the casting in that movie was great. It's probably, like, the best video game movie we had to that point and stayed that way for many, many years. Yep. Misty's Determination again. Scyther again. I got so many of those Hidden Fate Scythers now. Jinx. Cubone. Jigglypuff. Eevee. Ekans. Psyduck. Reverse Hollow Eevee. And a Hollow Brox Training. That's a weak pack. That's a weak pack, Charizard Tin. You don't want to go down this route. Like you're you want to show that like you are worth the higher dollar than the other tins. Come on. Don't you're 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 letting down the collector's value. You're letting down the eBay scalpers right now. Do you want to yeah, well actually of course, of course you want to let them down. I actually did see where Target is now going to limit everybody to like one thing at a time. So the scalpers aren't going to aren't going to be able to spend, you know, a thousand dollars all on their own anymore. Boo hoo. But hopefully it means a lot of us can actually get stuff at Target now. The, the Scyther Swarm grows. 
All right. Koga's Trap. Surge of Strategy. Magmar. Charmander. A lot of fire. Voltorb getting tested on coughing. Ekans freaking out again. Cubone. Reverse Hollow Golem. And a normal Mr. Mime. Wow. This... This tin is sucking. This tin is sucking. Compared to the last one with all the ultra rares, this is weak. This is a weak Charizard. Uh, did you hear right that they were going to discontinue fairy energy? Um, they haven't officially confirmed that, but fairy energy is not being... Like, fairy types are not currently being produced. Which is, they do that every now and then. The TCG always tweaks things around. You know, they introduced dragon type and then dropped dragon type. You know, it's just... Who knows? It's just them trying to figure out if they actually are, uh, like, trying, like, correctly balancing the game or not. It happens. <laughs> so many Scythers. Sabrina's suggestion, Pokemon Center Lady, Pikachu. Hidden Fates doesn't really have that many cards. It just has a ton of shiny cards in the shiny vault, and it has some really big full art rares. So, yeah. There's the appeal, but it does mean I'm pulling through a lot of cards I've already seen. Coughing. Paris. Cubone again. Reverse Hollow Paris. Snorlax. I haven't gotten a single Hollow out of this tin. You know, when I'm trying to prove that, like, the tin, the, like, the art on the tin doesn't matter, this is what I mean. Imagine if you could only get one Hidden Fates tin at Target and this is what you pulled. This crap. Come on. Alright, so last pack from the first Charizard tin. Please be something good. Like, I really want these to be a contender, and I want good cards myself. Alright, last pack of the first Charizard 10. Chansey, Graveler, Giovanni's Exile. She seems like he's enjoying his exile, kinda. Clefairy. Very nice art on the Clefairy. And it's a different art than we saw before. Coughing. Voltorb. Cubone. Geodude. Blaine's Last Stand. And a Weezing with a very, very small cameo from James. Surrender Now. That's fun for the ability. And appropriately for his Weezing, it's super weak. Look at... That might be the worst tin I've ever opened. There was literally nothing in that tin. Not a single hollow. Of any rarity. No full art, no nothing. That was just junk. Jeez, and some people pay like 75 bucks a tin for, th for the Charizard tins. And it was nothing. All right. We're coming down to the wire, folks. Yeah, that was a sad tin. That was a very sad tin. I'm sad. All right. So on the upside, my last Charizard tin has one of each pack. So, chat room. Let's do it. These are my last four packs of the stream. So which one opens next? Mew, Mewtwo, Charizard, Legendary Birds. Name it for me. You're, you're the one who's controlling the rest of this stream. Which one gets opened up next? Chris wants Mewtwo for last. I got two for Mew. I got three for Mew already. Mew, Mew. Wow. Wow. Mew, Bert, Mew. I've got a lot from you. I got a lot from you. All right. Mew next. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you're voting for the birds, wait for the next round. Trash can is getting full at this rate. There's a lot of packs. All right. The thing is supposed to be under the truck. Metapod is about to become Picapex lunch. Jinx, Magmar, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, the reverse hollow Pikachu again, and Jesse and James. Well, there's a rare hollow. Now, if it was the full art, I'd lose my mind. I've seen the full art. The full art's super cool. But just Jesse and James as a card, I think is awesome. All right. You're already doing better than the last Charizard tin. It's not a high bar, but I want you to know that. All right. Birds, Charizard, or Mewtwo. Uh, Chris, I'm not sure that the truck rumor is a big thing in Japan. I think that was an American rumor. So I don't think in a Japanese... I don't think the Japanese uh, artists would actually go for the... Uh, I don't think they'd go for a delivery truck Mew. Let's see. Uh, birds, Charizard. Uh, number two, Charizard. Birds, Zard. Triple. Birds. It's kind of close between. I think the birds are just ahead of Charizard right now. Birds. Mewtwo. Oh. Mewtwo. Oh, someone. Mewtwo's trying to catch up. Birds, I think, are still in the lead. So I think I'm going to go with the birds. I think I'm going to go with the birds. What? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting more birds. All right, birds get open. So we're down to Ch we're gonna be down to Charizard and Mewtwo. If you remember the 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 like the Pokemon movie they did where it was starring Red instead of Ash, like that's ba that like now we have the final fight from that movie. Do I have trouble transforming Kingdom Dynamot to Raptor mode? Not especially. He like he takes a few tries to figure out, but that's just. Any of them. Chat was taken over by Android 16. I get that reference. Rock's Pewter City Gym. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Nah. Misty's Determination. Pikachu. Jigglypuff. Ekans. Coughing. Cubone. Reshiram. Full Art Shiny. That Charizard worked better. That Charizard's already much better than the last 10. What's behind it? Hey, a Butterfree. That's nice. I like that. I'm also realizing that another reason Hidden Fates is probably so popular is because there's so many Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, Ash, I've been, I've kind of forgotten to sleeve the cards as I go, so I'm going to sleeve them later. $20 card, that's not bad. All right, two packs left. Charizard or Mewtwo? Shiny, fluffy dragon. Oh, the feels when Ash released Butterfree, yeah. Alright, Mewtwo, Charizard, Mewtwo, Charizard. Charizard, okay. Um, let's see, Chris wanted Charizard as well. Charizard, Mewtwo, 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 Mewtwo. Ooh, this is a dead heat. This is a dead heat. Mewtwo, Charizard, Mewtwo. <sighs> okay, I think Mewtwo is slightly ahead. You thought Butterfree was Misty's? No, Misty hated bug types. 
Like, she was chronically afraid of bug types. Two, five, three. It wasn't an intentional drive reference. That's literally what it's called. It's called a dead heat when when there's when there's a really close tie going on, or when a, when a race is going on that you know you can't tell who's ahead. Sabrina's suggestion, Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Erica's hospitality. And a Kangaskhan. All right, all right, all right. I like Kangaskhan well enough. All right. The Charizard pack from the Charizard tin is going to be my last pack for the evening. You don't want to found Drive to be boring. I found Drive to be dull at first, but I think it found its groove. Like, halfway through, I think it gets a lot more interesting. And it's not to say that, like, the first half of the series is a slog. I just think it's not terribly great, but it's, it's certainly watchable. It just takes a while to get up to speed. Alright. Code card away. One, two, three, four. So, let's see if Charizard packs actually are lucky. It's gonna have nothing at the end. All right, Pokemon Center Lady. Another Scyther. Probably got like a dozen of these from Hidden Fates now. Metapod, Paris, Charmander. Oh, there's something fancy in the back. Slowpoke, Psyduck, Clefairy. A Shiny Inkay. Okay, not bad. And then another Raichu. So we do find, we did get another shiny card. I'm still not getting my shiny Scyther out of Hidden Fates. But yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So in the battle of the tins, the Gyarados tin was not ter was actually Kind of a strong contender here. We do have that Hollow Eevee, that that shiny Charmeleon, and the full art Silvalli. The second one we had, we didn't have any shinier full art out of the Raichu. What we had was, well, aside from a reverse Hollow Scyther, we had three ultra rare Raichu, Starmie, Pinsir. We don't even need to talk about this. We don't even need to talk about uh, Charizard Tin One, Charizard Tin Two. We just saw. We got our Inke. We got our Raichu. That Reshiram's probably the big pull I've got, and the Jesse and James. I think I'm gonna say Charizard Number Two was probably the best overall tin. the The video title is still Monster Hunter on YouTube. I don't care anymore. <laughs> there was part of me that's thinking like. I'm about to wrap up here. I might go get dinner to rest up. And then I might come back live and actually play some Monster Hunter. Because I haven't played in a little bit. And uh, it might be my last chance for a little bit. Because I'm going to start taking more work at the toy stores. Oh, see. Ton the Japanese set had so many hollows. I don't know what to even do with all of them. Or how to even look up prices on them. But the Inteleon was super cool. The Shaman's cool. That's that's going to be the big takeaway card. Is that ugly ass slow king. For the US cards, it's probably going to be that Reshiram and that Cheryl. So there we go. But yeah, uh, I'm going to sit down and price some of these and see which ones have to go into sleeves. But thank you for joining me on another Pokemon hunting adventure. I don't know when I'm going to get... I, I used to... I, I For a while, I could find cards enough to do this weekly, but that's not happening anymore. So I think I'm. this is just going to be like maybe once a month I'm going to have enough cards to do this. Um, I've got a few more on the way, but nothing like 
groundbreaking, not a huge amount. But uh, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, keep an eye on my socials, on Twitter and all that when I'm going to do this again. I'll let you guys know. So thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for hanging out and making this fun. It is always fun opening up with you guys and kind of experiencing the excitement of what's going to be in the next pack together. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you so much for the ones who uh, subscribed and supported today. Very appreciated. Hopefully I will see you next time. Maybe I'll see you later. I don't know yet. Stay tuned. I'll let you know. But for now, goodbye, everybody.